We are talking about surface area and volume of spheres. And we want to be able to find the surface area of spheres and find the volume of spheres. So first thing we want to take a look at is what is a great circle? And a great circle is a circle that includes the center of the sphere. So here's the center of the sphere. Here's the radius. Here's the diameter. Uh, that center of the sphere is also the center of this circle. It's a great circle because it is the biggest circle that that sphere can make. And then we also want to talk about a hemisphere. Hemisphere being half. And that means, so that means that uh, that is, would be exactly half of one full sphere. So we have a couple equations here. We want to find the total surface area of a sphere. And the total surface area is equal to 4 pi times radius squared. Uh, you guys can remember that pi times radius squared is equal to the area of a circle. And then we're just going to put the 4 in front of it. And that will give us the surface area of a sphere. Now, the surface area of a hemisphere is very similar to that of a sphere where we added four to the front of the equation for the surface area of a sphere. Here we're going to add two because two is half of four and we're talking about hemisphere, which is half of a sphere. Now the thing that we have to add on, if we're looking at these two uh, drawings here, these two sketches, a sphere does not have a flat side, so it's uh, it's two hemispheres, which is right there. So this is one hemisphere, but then it has one side that is also a great circle. So we have to add that pi radius squared on at the end because we have to add the flat portion of the snow globe and the bulb or the hemisphere portion of the snow globe. So our equation ends up being for total surface area of a hemisphere is 3 pi radius squared. We have 2 pi radius squared that comes from the globe portion or the hemisphere portion. And then we have 1 pi radius squared that comes from the great circle. And if we add those together, we end up with 3 pi r squared. Volume for a sphere and we, we want to use the equation pi radius cubed multiplied by 4 over 3. Now uh, volume doesn't account for that great uh, that great circle. We don't need to account for that portion of it. We're just basically cutting cutting the glow or the sphere in half. So it's the exact same equation pi radius cubed pi radius cubed, we're dividing by three, we're dividing by three, but because it's a hemisphere, meaning half, we're gonna take that numerator and divide it by two. So again, two is half of four. So the volume of a hemisphere is V equals two thirds pi r cubed. And we can take a look at a couple of examples. Example one A, First thing we want to do is find the surface area and we're just going to pull that equation. The surface area is equal to four times pi r cubed or pi r squared. And we just have to look and find what our radius is. Our radius is eight. So we can substitute the values in four times pi times eight squared. And we get an approximate value of 804.2 cubic or centimeter squared, 804.25 centimeter squared. And the same thing for volume, we're using four thirds pi r cubed, and our radius is still eight, so the only value we have to substitute in is eight, so four, four divided by three times pi times eight cubed, and we get the volume is equal to 2,144.66 centimeters cubed. Again, surface area is measured in square units. 
and volume is measured in cubic units. And we can look at one hemisphere example. Example D is basically the same thing. Calculating the surface area of a hemisphere, we're going to use the equation surface area is equal to 3 times pi times r squared. Look at our drawing and we see that our radius is 13. Substitute the value in. 13 squared times pi times 3, and we get the surface area is equal to 1,592.79 feet squared. We want to find the volume. Use the equation 2 thirds pi r cubed. Again, that's the exact same equation as the volume equation. The only difference is because it's half, we have to reduce that number by half. So we get volume equals. 2 thirds pi 13 cubed, and we get the volumes equal to 4,601.37 feet cubed.